Redditors with insul friends or acquaintances. What is the actual problem that they just don't get? My roommate recently said to me, if she even has a little bit of body fat, that's a deal breaker and it's not that he doesn't get laid. But it's been probably 5 years since he had pics that he didn't fly to Southeast Asia for. He has a dead end job and no degrees or marketable skills, but wants to make more money so he can date hot girls. I offered to recommend him for an entry level job at the giant corporation where I work, but he turned out down because the hours were too early. The actual problem is that his only criteria for a partner is looks and he doesn't bring that much to the table himself. If she even has a little bit of body fat, that's a deal breaker. How fat is this guy? I guess that rules out every human ever. Hey now. There's still Macaulay Culkin and Steve Buscemi. I've had a friend for many years. He basically wants a woman in her 30s, he's about 50, who is very religious. A virgin of course. Never married. Supermodel gorgeous. Doesn't have cats. Isn't Catholic. And doesn't smoke. At my wedding he drooled all over my thrice divorced Jewish best friend. Because she is gorgeous. Therefore my opinion is that he's just interested in the gorgeous part of that list and the rest would fall by the wayside if he found someone attractive enough. Aren't very religious people generally married younger? How do you find someone who is very religious and not married in their 30s? And also smoking hot and a virgin? How do you find someone who is very religious and not married in their 30s? A recent convert, though they are unlikely to be supermodel sexy virgins. A born again virgin. He claims he hasn't always been insul. But for as long as I've known him, he's never had a girlfriend or even a passing fling. And it's all because of his personality. Highly opinionated about pretty much everything. Ultra fanboy for certain films, has a vast collection of toys and other memorabilia, dedicated an entire spare bedroom to the collection. On the surface he's a nice guy, but he goes from 0 to 60 fast with his terrible opinions. I have a friend like this. He's early 40s, and I've known him for 20 years. In that entire time I think he got laid maybe 4 times. Maximum. He's a really nice guy, and in great shape, bikes a lot. Great cook. But he's a it all to the point that you can't hang out with him for long. And he does it to everyone. If I say, I'm so mad. My car battery died again I'll get what you need to do is. Or if you say, I'm not really into the Olympics and none of my shows are on this week. You get what you need to do is go on Netflix and watch. No matter the topic or anything you cover really. He takes this tone like he has to tech or explain everything to you patiently. I don't think he means to be a dick. But especially when dating. No woman wants to be mansplained to about every topic she brings up in casual conversation. The women flee. Is that dude named Reddit? He's a really nice guy, and in great shape I mean it's clearly not Reddit. It's the guy who stole Reddit's girlfriend. Damn it Chad. I was close with this guy in college who, though he probably wouldn't say it, is an insult. Total neck but oh why, aren't girls into me kind of thing. He was convinced it was because he was overweight and nerdy, and that women were too shallow to see what a great guy he was. But here's the thing. Fat people get laid all the time. If they are a fun cool, kind, not nice, person, then you shouldn't have a problem. The one thing he, and probably most insul slash neck but slash nice guys need to hear, is a quote from the movie The Social Network, but you're going to go through life thinking that girls don't like you because you're a nerd. And I want you to know, from the bottom of my heart, that that won't be true. It'll be because you're an asshole. Apostrophe. Thank you for distinguishing kind from nice. I think that's something a lot of people overlook, or don't even know to look for. I have met a bunch of nice, shitty people in my life. Kind people can be nice people. Nice people can be kind people. But those two things are not equal. Some of the kindest people I know can be pretty fucking grumpy. Some of the nicest people I know are pathological liars. He doesn't put any effort into his appearance. And doesn't really ever talk to anyone other than me and his two other friends, all male. He's straight. He will occasionally talk about wanting a girlfriend. And we will try to set him up on dates. But then he chickens out. One is a straight up creep. He openly talks about how much he's into lolican. 
He wants a girl that looks like she's 12 and also likes all of the neckbiddy hobby stuff that he's into like wargaming and Taohao. He had a girl interested in him once before that he wrote off because she was too fat, she was barely chubby, and once a ten tenths, while he himself looks like Garlem. One is an insufferable sad sack. He constantly self-deprecates with forever alone type stuff. Bitches and moans about being a nice guy. Gave himself a stupid nickname, Panda, and constantly uses it to refer to himself in the third person. The last is attractive, funny, sociable, intelligent, and stable. He's tried fix-ups and online dating, but nothing really works out compatibility-wise. He'll make a great catch for the right lady. He just hasn't had much luck yet. Where does the Japanese obsession come from? I moved to Japan over 10 years ago, and I've heard about the weeaboos. But I don't think I've ever actually met one in real life. Not here or in other countries I've lived in like the UK or Australia. Why Japan in particular, rather than any other country? Why is it always anim? I actually met a reverse weeaboo once. It was a Japanese guy that was obsessed with American culture. Same mannerisms. Slightly overweight. Fedora. Actually may have been a beanie. Social awkwardness. Etc. Was in a bar in Golden Gay a few days after Christmas. To his credit. His English was much better than my Japanese. I'm a huge nerd of girl. So I've met plenty of those kinds of guys. I've tried to help. And they don't or won't listen. When I tell them maybe your personality could be better. You're pretty hateful sometimes. Girls won't flock to you the more sexist jokes you make, and treating women like idiots that can't enjoy comic books, or insert other thing. You tell them to dress nicer, bathe, clean up their appearance, clean and cut their hair and style it, and they think you're trying to turn them into a normie. Like you can pull off the whole nerd look without being a stinky hamburger scented ragamuffin. I like that you give solid advice here, and it's immediately shot down, because there is some guy who knows some guy. I choose to be a virgin. Okay. Edwin. Sure. You're 31 Y. Oh. And a chronic ma- The beta. The problem is. My friend is a quintessential neck but we boo. He considers himself an intellectual and anyone who doesn't share his beliefs is beneath him. He wants a petite. Japanese virgin. She's gotta be perfect. She has to have a slightly protruding canine tooth because it's core AE. He's already limited himself to a niche demographic of women. And he has nothing to offer, except his 1996 Honda Civic DX with 203.000 miles. So why am I friends with him? I feel bad for the guy. If he shaved his patchy beard, lose 100 lbs, comma, work out regularly, and stop pushing his beliefs onto people. He might actually get a girl. Doesn't have to be a petite. Japanese virgin with a slightly crooked canine tooth. The completely artificial and unrealistic expectations are just a cushion for the fact women aren't interested in him. Such is life. You win some. You lose some. Better luck next time. Yes. It seems like he's made it so that he seems very particular. So others won't know that a woman won't touch him with a 10 foot pole. Surprise. Everyone knows. He may have even have fooled himself into believing it. Because of self protection. Cognitive dissonance. And all of that. I'd say that assessment is spot on considering the dude is 31. He's actually super thin and lanky. Weird mustache thing going on. Not a full beard. And wears sunglasses all the time. You're not dating anyone. Because you will never ever find Bean's booty. Pamela Anderson is. Cheryl is there and waist size. And Hathaway face. Taylor Swift popsicle legs. And Nicki Minaj drive in one woman. It's just never going to be a thing. If that person exists, then we are in a new age of Jurassic Park. You could, however, clean up a bit and go talk to normal girls who have nice jobs as an office receptionist and gets dental. Normal girls who have nice jobs as an office receptionist and gets dental. Ooh, look at Brad Pitt over here. Dating a girl who gets dental. Perceiving yourself as superior to other people will push them away. And if everyone is an asshole, Maybe you should check if you're not the asshole. They're a contrarian weeaboo hardcore one up a chronic ma- beta. If anything is remotely good and or popular, it's garbage in their eyes and will go at great lengths to tell you why. They're obsessed with anim and any Japanese cultural phenomenon. If you say you've done something, 
they'll either put you down by saying it's in no way impressive or come up with something more fascinating they've experienced or witnessed. The last one goes without saying. If you start talking to them, they'll constantly turn things around to some soft corp graphy photo that you should check out. Everyone who knows them are 99. 95% sure he's a virgin. They're the kind of person who supposedly gets random hookups with out of town girls who disappeared. Never to be heard from again. Well their girlfriend goes to another school obviously. You wouldn't know her. She's from Canada. Her name is Alberta. She lives in Vancouver. Short version. Unrealistic expectations she must look like a supermodel post airbrushing at all times. Be a virgin. Cook. Clean. And generally being treated like a possession. While putting up with a dude that can't remember when he last showered. And isn't sure if the underoos he's wearing were clean when he put them on. That. And the guy has the personality of a wet cat. I mean seriously. A grown man that behaves like the mean girl from the latest Disney tween dramedy. It would be hilarious if he weren't so annoying. And well. Offensive to the senses. Seriously. Fuck nuts. Take a refined shower. With soap. At least once a day. Wash clothes at least once a week. Signed. Literally effing everyone at work. My cousin doesn't understand that women like to take care of themselves. Or I guess a lot of them do. He has only had one girlfriend and she was his first everything. She broke up with him and he hasn't been with anyone since. Her biggest complaint was that he was consistently needy and showering her with attention all the time. For example. He'd always want to hold hands and feed her and never let her do it herself. Now he complains that he's too dark and fat for any girl to love him. He's in his 30s. Also super elitist about his interest, horror films, and will say you're an idiot for saying X film wasn't as good, in your opinion, as he thought it was. God. He is so exhausting sometimes. Feed her? Like. Physically spoon the food into her mouth. I can't even. Yes he wanted to be the one to provide everything for her, and she stay at home, and he be her slave I think. She was really uncomfortable with it. His standards are simply too high. If you are a pudgy, balding guy with back who wears socks with sandals, and who takes home a cool 50k per year, you aren't going to land a playboy model. His sights would be more accurately set on, well, really a regular human. But he doesn't see that. I've seen him turn down very nice and intelligent women that were average looking because they were average looking and therefore not his type. Yeah buddy, you are gonna stay a virgin. My friend was me, 8 years ago, 22 years old, virgin, never even had a let's hold hands middle school relationship, played a lot of online video games and exclusively hung out with dudes doing dude stuff. One day a switch flipped for me, and I decided I would force myself to go out and meet people despite my social anxiety. I had been invited to a party by an acquaintance. And even better I knew that he had some female friends. Having been bullied my whole childhood, especially by girls, I was pretty convinced that people hated me and that I should just stay home from everything. I was convinced that I should avoid women because they all just wanted to make me feel like shit about myself. Having never had a normal conversation, much less a relationship, with a girl my age, I didn't understand them as normal people and I hated them all, even though I didn't know it. It is a terrible and deeply conflicting feeling to long for any sort of relationship with women while simultaneously blaming and fearing them. This is a torment that a lot of men in this position mistakenly think will be solved if they could only get a girlfriend. Within a month of going to this party I was playing way fewer video games and I had some new friends that I would meet up with to do stuff, including female ones. I quickly lost all my preconceived bullshit about guys versus girls and what women want and all that because I was finally interacting with normal people instead of getting my social experiences vicariously through media and hearsay. It also helped that I was not in constant contact with my nerdy high school friends anymore. Because we were such an insular bubble that we couldn't grow beyond our own little group. I was finally letting myself grow and putting myself out there. Acker at risk of terrible rejection as my socially anxious mind would have me believe. Years later I'm a kind of normal 
friendly, well-adjusted person with a healthy romantic relationship and plenty of friends. I'm also a lot less angry in general. I think a lot of my insul years were due to a combination of not knowing the world and the fears that come with it. I attributed a lot of my problems to the lack of women in my life. And while that was a source of the problems, it wasn't for the reasons I would have believed at the time. I think an important thing people miss with guys in this situation is that I didn't need a girlfriend. Sure, I wanted one. But what I needed was a friend that was a girl. I needed contact with women in a way that humanized them for me and allowed me to feel as if there were women in the world who could tolerate me. The only woman who had ever shown me anything other than disgust had been my mother. Many women later in my life would be confused by this when I didn't want relationships with them. Most famously when I became good friends with four women who, months into our friendship, asked me directly which one of us are you trying to fuck? We can't figure it out. They were perplexed when I said none of you. I just need friends that are women. I wanted to be friend zoned. Because that meant I had friends. I realized that having female friends was the missing link for me. I liked women. I could talk about cooking and colors and flower arranging and other jelly stuff with them. I didn't have to live in some alternate universe of false masculinity. It was like half of me had been shut off my whole life and was suddenly allowed to see the light of day. My anger was towards the culture that had created this separation and not women at all. I think growing up without any female friends, being bullied by girls through mid slash high school because I was nerdy and the general toxic culture that young men are raised in led me to a bad place. I think a society that holds boys and girls apart from a young age and teaches them a bunch of false bullshit about the other group is the root of the issue. It was only once I forced myself to just go out and talk to people that I found women to be much more eligible and I rapidly improved the way I thought of them and acted around them. Not really sure. I think maybe his standards are just too high. He has only expressed interest in a handful of women over the years. And they are usually cute skinny white girls that already have plenty of guys interested in them. His standards are just too high it's this right here. They are not trying to meet a woman and find out if they'll get along. They are trying to only meet the perfect woman and their idea of perfect doesn't exist. But Hollywood told us about how there is someone. Only one person that's perfect just for us. And they are perfect in every way. For every Seth Rogen. There is a Katherine Hegel. My friend has extremely low self esteem and never just goes for it with a girl. He's 25 and still a virgin hoss never had a girlfriend in his life but is actually reasonably good looking and would look even better if he lost 30 pounds or so and has a good guy too. For some reason though he just can't talk with a girl properly i.e. flirt at the right times and basically just be yourself kinda thing. He does want a girlfriend badly too. Heck has even drunkenly cried about it to me on one occasion too, but his problem is he just hasn't got the balls to even attempt to chat up girls, even when has had a wingman introduce him. I think one day he'll get a girlfriend though. Has just gotta get out of his shell around women and be himself. Go with the flow and simply be more relaxed. I have similar problems. He might have been chunky as a kid and just missed out on learning those social things then with girls and it's made it difficult for him now think that's my boat as well. Hated where I grew up and didn't feel great. Was massively obese. I think at least partly due to that, though ultimately I only have myself to blame. Mostly just played video games with my few close gamer friends, who I still speak to, but essentially all my interaction was online or in school. Since moving across an ocean for university, I became much happier. Lost 100 pounds. Play games about one fifth the amount I did in high school. And hang out with more mainstream people now. In addition to holding my friends back in the US clothes. Since I never had to lose them. Since we were already mostly hanging out online. But missing out on everything social in high school is killing me. I literally haven't got an idea how to flirt slash talk to girls. And whenever there is a golden opportunity to meet someone in a bar or whatever I always get flustered and it just passes. Sucks man. I still just hold hope one day I'll naturally meet someone without trying to, since I go to a few activity societies and stuff. Sorry turned into a bit of a vent lol. There was one dude I met in college. 
we were partners for a lot of group projects, and he'd do his fair share of work, so things would go smoothly. Stuck to him for a while and eventually became decent friends. One day he just opens up about how all women are just snarkages who just sleep around with any f boy that owns a two door. One time we had a group study, and one girl mentions that she went out to party slash club in the downtown area and had a lot of fun. Mid story he cuts her off and asks so who did you f that night in this really disparaging way. Girl just looks at him all disgusted and just went back and buried her face in her book. Worst part is it I almost felt like. In his head. He felt good about shutting her up and making her feel bad cause of whatever he thinks of her. I don't know. I'm still in shock. She wasted an excellent opportunity for a your dad joke. Insul here. My actual problem is my personality. I'm ugly sure, but I've seen guys as ugly as me with women somehow. I'm very boring and hold several controversial opinions on issues and some that pee off both sides of two sided issues. I'm selfish, self centered, lazy, and am not capable of empathy. You've got mad self awareness skills, though. I'm 30 and have spent most of my life alone, so I've had time for self reflection. When I was 30 I was sure that I'd be alone my whole life. I thought no one would be able to look past my looks. Met my husband at 31. Got married at 32. Now have two kids. Things change when you least expect it. We are in our mid 20s and it's no longer cool to smoke weed all day long while rotating between TV, gaming, and eating. I understand your pops is okay with paying your rent and everything right now. But you are way too okay with it. This is the only time in our lives that I will get time to relax like this before I get a career and I'm always busy. I'm just taking advantage of this stage in my life. You're 25 bro. That time you are talking about ended about 4 years ago. One guy isn't technically an insult, but can't keep a woman interested beyond a few dates. He's tall, well built, not bad looking, has a job, seems good on paper. But wants someone who's gorgeous and traditional who'll basically be submissive to him because he's a dude. So like. A mommy who'll serve him dinner and clean and be a supermodel. He bought a wife from Eastern Europe and she dumped him within a month and went back 